Hi there traders and investors. Today is Tuesday, September 13. I'm glad to greet you online and share a red hot market review prepared for InstaForex. Today is a crucial day for the currency market because the US inflation data is on tap tonight. Why is everyone alert for the CPI for August? Traders are trying to predict a further policy move of the Federal Reserve later this month. The last report was nice. If inflation eased in August, traders will expect a softer rate hike by 50 basis points, but not by 75 basis points projected earlier. In turn, the US dollar could lose ground. Judging by technical charts, a lot of traders are now pricing in rate hike by 0.5%. I have a trading idea. Gold is going up ahead of the CPI data. Obviously, American traders want to sell gold in the rally before the news. Goldman Sachs is a bearing about European stock indices. I share their viewpoint and I myself have opened short positions on European stock indices. Now, let's discuss my ideas on charts. Here is the screen of my favorite MetaTrader platform. Let me remind you about the one-year target of 1.675. There is a high level on a weekly chart. Before this CPI release, gold is drifting higher. If we check American sessions in the recent two weeks, we see that the metal closed in the red almost every session. I guess if the US CPI confirms strong inflationary pressure, the US dollar will perk up. For the time being, the US dollar is sliding, but it frequently happens before the news. How to benefit from the news? First, we can take into account a pin bar formed under selling pressure yesterday. Commonly, we should not make decisions based on signal bars ahead of crucial economic data. We could sell gold at the pin bar zone with a stop loss 500-600 pips above. The second scenario is to wait until the news release and grasp the impulse which could either up or down. We cannot predict for sure that exact direction. Anything can happen. Importantly, we should grasp what will happen after the impulse. Perhaps the price will climb to highs and a good selling impulse will follow. You could enter the market during the third wave setting a take profit at a breakout of the one-year low. The strong news could break the selling impulse immediately and traders might fix profits. You also could enter the market at the third wave with a target at a one-year low. I mean you can open short positions either now, bearing in mind yesterday's selling impulse, or immediately after the news catching the impulse triggered by the news. Finally, you can do scenarios with different risks. I foresee a decline in gold. The euro-dollar pair is trading higher. Yesterday, I spotted a powerful bar and selling activity in the American session. The euro is benefiting from the rate hike by the ECB. However, we should not neglect a rate hike by the US Fed later this month. Time will tell how sharp the Fed will raise interest rates. I don't have a target for the euro in terms of my trading strategy hunting for stop orders. I'm not trading the currency pair for a while. The pound sterling has also grown until its resistance. I don't see any interesting scenarios for now. The currency pair has been rising for four days in a row ahead of the US news. The sterling might slip following the news. If the data is bullish for the US dollar, the sterling will slip in parallel. The dollar yen pair is extending its climb. I plotted the selling zone and a pin bar on a chart. There are no reversal patterns yet. The currency pair is trading 
at elevated levels. It could test its tomorrow level. It doesn't matter. We're going to trade a three-wave structure or hunt for stop orders. The trading instrument suggests nothing for the time being. That's all I wanted to tell you. See you next time. See you later.